Hey, it's Justin from iOS Soft Modder. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple new features in iOS 7.1 that you can get in the accessibility settings. First, let's talk about iOS 7.0. One of the things I hate most about iOS 7 are Apple stock dynamic and still wallpapers. As you can see, I have this yellow one here. It's pretty much useless. I can't see any of the app names or, you know, the folder. I don't even have folder names on this because I couldn't see them anyway. They're pretty much useless. They don't make the folder pop and it's hard to read the white fonts. You could bold the fonts in accessibility settings, but it only helps so much and it bolds everything on the device, which, you know, I only want it on the home screen. You could also increase the contrast, but it did very little to help. It made the dock easier to read slightly. You know, it kind of got rid of this white little transparency thing there, which made the, the icon stick out just a little bit more, but it wasn't really that big of a difference. And it really didn't do that much for folders either when you open them. It's, you know, it's really hard to see. But now in iOS 7.1, they adjusted the increased contrast option so that it really makes a difference. Um, so if you just go to Settings, General, Accessibility, and increase contrast. You can reduce the transparency just like you could before, but this time it actually does something. So when you're in a folder now, it actually adds a dark background. Um, same thing with the dock down here. It's way easier to see. The only thing it didn't do was change the actual folder backgrounds on the home screen, but when you click on it, it does make it a little nicer. They've also added a similar look to the keyboard. Right now the keyboard is a little hard to see, you know, for some people it is. I mean, it's never really bothered me, but, you know, some people had a hard time seeing the little white keys from the little, you know, the gray background. But now, you can also go back to the accessibility settings. Let's go back and use the dark keyboard. This makes it much easier to see. It's a pretty huge difference. Uh, that's it for this video. Just a quick demo of the new dark backgrounds and keyboard in iOS 7.1. Make sure to check out the full guide over on iOS Soft Modder for more details. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.